Hey guys, Matthew Sane, Nadi here. Hope you guys are having a good day today. Today is Wednesday, May the 8th. And right now, you guys can probably tell, I'm just by Memorial Arena right now. Like, you know, <laughs> I'm at the spot I usually film whenever I go to Memorial Arena. Um, so yeah, guys, I'm just walking around right now. And it's a pretty nice day outside today. Like, you guys can probably tell, it's like pretty sunny outside and it's pretty warm outside. Like, I think it's like 24 degrees today. It's actually not too bad. It's actually pretty warm. Like, it definitely feels like summer today. You know, I'm wearing a t-shirt and shorts today because, you know, it's pretty nice outside. Um, so yeah guys, hope you guys are having a great day today because so far my day is going okay, like I said. And I hope you guys enjoyed the last video I posted. You guys all know, the last time, the last video I posted was on Monday. And you guys all know on Monday, I was just giving you guys a little update on my CD collection. Because, you know, I wanted to give you guys a little update on it. Because, you know, the last video I made before that one was in January. Well, that was the last time I did a video on my album collection. And so I decided to do another video on my album collection, like kind of like an update video on it. So, I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you guys haven't yet seen it, I'll put a link to it in the description down below if you want to check it out. And I did promise you guys that the next video I was going to make was probably going to be on Wednesday, which is today. Um, so, yeah. But like I said, guys, it's a pretty nice day outside. It's pretty sunny, and it's pretty warm. It feels like summer. It's actually pretty nice. And you guys can probably tell, but I shaved. A. Hey. Um, so... Yeah, guys, so far today, there hasn't really been too much going on. I haven't done too much. Like, I literally just left my house, and I'm now just going out. Now, me and Dustin might hang out today because I did text him and asked him if he wanted to hang out, but he said he wanted to go to the gym. But he said he's probably not going to be at the gym for too long, so he's probably going to do a short workout today. And he said he might hang out, or he might be able to hang out with me at some point today. I just told him to let me know. So there's a chance that me and Dustin could hang out today, you guys, but it's like 50-50. Like, we'll see what happens. If we do hang out today, then you guys will see Dustin in the vlog and we'll probably like walk around or do something. Or if we don't hang out today, then it'll just be me talking to you guys for, our, you know, the vlog and all that. Well, yeah. So today's Wednesday, you guys. So we're already halfway through this week already. Um, two more days until Friday. Let's go. And that means there's now two more days until River Rock officially reopens. Because if you guys didn't know, uh, River Rock is officially reopening this Friday, May 10th. And... 40 Hours Over is actually going to be playing there on Friday, so that's even even better, actually. As there is going to be a lot of live music happening in Chatham-Kent this weekend. As you know, like I said, 40 Hours Over is going to be playing at River Rock. Um, Bren's going to be playing at the Elephant's Nest on Saturday. And, um... Oh, yeah. And, um... There is going to be a, like, a tour happening at Skinny's. At Second Story Window... Pool House Poets and Strike Tyson. They're going to be playing at Skinny's in downtown Chatham. I think either Friday or Saturday. So that's going to be going on. So there's going to be a good amount of live music happening in Chatham this weekend. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. And I believe there's going to be a few other uh, bands playing at like other bars in Chatham this weekend. I just can't remember them right now. Um, but yeah, so this weekend looks pretty good. I'm actually pretty excited for Friday because this is going to be the first night River Rock reopens as this will be River Rock's first weekend being reopened in about a month because the last time River Rock was open was April 13th. So that was like almost a month ago now. And, you know, River Rock did say that they were going to reopen last weekend, but they had to extend it to this weekend. So basically River Rock was closed for another week, but they are officially reopening on Friday, you guys. So don't worry. This Friday, River Rock will officially be open, like, like officially, like they will. So that's pretty good. So I'm actually pretty excited for this weekend, you guys. I'm going to be going to River Rock this weekend. I'm probably going to go see 40 Hours Over at River Rock on Friday. And I'm kind of thinking about going to see Brent at the Elpis Nest on Saturday, the 11th. So I'll probably be doing that. And this coming weekend is actually Mother's Day weekend. So the moms and the grandmas will be able to have their big day on Sunday because actually Sunday is Mother's Day. Um, so yeah. Now, I actually realized this, you guys, but every weekend of May, there's gonna be something going on, like something big. As this weekend, like I said, is Mother's Day weekend, but then actually next weekend will be Victoria Day weekend, as Monday, May 20th is Victoria Day, and then the week after that will be Retrofest, and for me, you know, my birthday. So yeah, literally like every weekend of May, there's gonna be something going on. The first two weekends of May, well, second and third weekend actually, are going to be holiday weekends, while the last weekend of May, which will be the 24th and the 25th and the 26th, that's going to be Retrofest. So that's pretty cool. 
Well, in America, they have Memorial Day. That's on May 27th, but that's only in America. Here in Canada, we have Mother's Day and Victoria Day for the May holidays. While in Chatham, we have a big festival in May, which is Retrofest. That's at the very end of May. So, yeah. So it looks like May's going to be pretty busy, you guys. As you know, this weekend's Mother's Day weekend, next weekend's Victoria Day weekend, and then the weekend after that is Retrofest, and I'm going to have my birthday on May 25th, which is a Saturday. That's pretty exciting. Um, but yeah. But I'm actually just excited for this weekend, because, you know, like I said, Friday we got 40 hours over at River Rock, and then Saturday I'm probably going to go see Brent at the Nest, and then Sunday we're going to have Mother's Day. So we're probably going to be, so my family's probably going to be doing something for Mother's Day, you know, with my mom and probably my grandma too. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, it doesn't look too busy here at Memorial Arena parking lot, at least for right now. Not really. Um, but yeah. And also, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm wearing my new Led Zeppelin shirt I got at Tees and Sweats. I think it was back in the winter time. I think I got this shirt, I think it was either like January or February. One of those two, I got this shirt at the Tees and Sweats in the mall. It's a pretty nice shirt. Oh yeah. Um... But yeah, guys, so it's not too bad. There are some clouds in the sky over there, but for the most part, it's actually pretty sunny, and it's supposed to be nice all day today, so that's pretty good. It's actually, I don't know if you guys noticed, but last night it was actually, like, raining. Like, it was actually raining pretty good at one point last night, and, like, later on as the night went on, it, st it stopped, but, no, last night it was, like, kind of, like, raining, like, raining off and on, and at one point it was kind of, like, pouring a little bit. I was like, wow. <laughs> yeah. Now, the weather yesterday wasn't too bad. Like, it was sort of sunny a little bit yesterday, but at the same time, it was also a little cloudy, but it's okay. But I'm glad that today is a little bit nicer, and it's actually, like, sunny, and it's actually, like, warm outside, so I'm really glad for that. Um, but, yeah. But I might pause the video for now, you guys. So, next time I'll talk to you is probably going to be somewhere, like, downtown, and I'll probably let you guys know if me and Dustin are for sure going to hang out today. So, I'm going to pause the video for now, and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, so now we're on William Street. You can probably tell there's William Street there. We're actually hanging downtown right now because me and Dustin are going to be hanging out today. Dustin's literally almost done at the gym. He just texted me. He said that he's going to be almost done at the gym. And so I'm actually heading downtown right now. We're probably going to be meeting up at the mall. And I did tell him that I'm going to be doing a video today so he knows I'm going to be vlogging. So yeah guys, we're going to actually be hanging out with Dustin today. So I'm glad that we're going to be actually able to hang out today for at least a little bit. Uh, we'll probably walk around, or maybe we'll go to Tim Horns, or, I don't know, something like that. But yeah, I left Memorial Arena, then I just walked around for a bit, and I went to the VIA station, because I also wanted to see if there was any trains coming, but there wasn't any trains coming, but it's okay. And now, like I said, we're heading downtown, and we're going to meet me up with Dustin, so, yeah. Um, so, I'm, I'm going to let Dustin know when I'm going to be downtown, and then we're going to meet up probably at Fit for Less. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to hang out, probably walk around. We'll talk about some things, and we'll see if we can do something, you know. But, yeah. And then after I'm going to be hanging out with Dustin, maybe I might go back to my house and have supper, and then I'm probably going to go back out later tonight. Hopefully the weather tonight will actually be nice, so that way I can actually be out and not have to worry about rain. But, I mean, I don't think it's going to rain again tonight because it is nice and sunny. And they didn't say it was going to rain tonight, so I don't think it will. And sorry for the windy, guys. It's also kind of windy today, so, yeah. But it's nice. I mean, at least it gives us a little, like, nice little breeze, so at least it's not too bad. But, yeah. But I'm going to pause the video again, you guys. So I'll talk to you guys when we're at the mall, when we're with Dustin, so I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, so now we're here with Dustin. Hola. Yeah, now we're downtown. We're just walking. We actually went and checked out a few stores. Uh, we went inside the hard store at the mall. And you guys know those, like, things like it's like a cactus where you like you talk and they like repeat what you say yeah if you see like you watch like tiktok videos some people like show people like put pranks or something like that yeah we saw those in the heart store we were like really talking like really funny and like they were making like really funny noises oh yeah yeah and then after that we went inside the pawn shop over there on king street kind of next to river rock but it's like across the street sort of and yeah. we looked around there because i wanted to see if they have any like music cds but they didn't yeah and then we went inside the one other pawn shop just down the street and Dustin actually got a pocket knife there yeah. pretty cool I wanted to go look for some CDs there too but they didn't have any so now we're just walking around we'll probably find maybe another store that's open so we look yeah. around there see around there and yeah maybe we can go 
Hmm. Maybe we can go up this way, up Third Street Bridge, if we want. We haven't walked up that way in a little bit. Yeah, a little while, yeah. Yeah, so maybe we can go do that. Oh. Oh, yeah, the light's green, bro. We can go. Yeah, brother. Yeah, buddy. A lot of cars on Thurston Bridge. <laughs> okay, you're getting closer to uh, Richard Fires. Yes, sir. And uh, this Sunday is uh, Mother's Day. Yeah, so all the moms and the grandmas will be having their big day on Sunday. Yes, sir. Very cool. And actually, next weekend is Victoria Day, too. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, thank you. So, this weekend we have Mother's Day. Next weekend we have Victoria Day. And then after that, we have Retro Fest. Oh, sure. And then after that, it's going to be June. Yeah, like wow that's very cool but yeah hope you guys are excited for retro fest if you guys are going to be in chatham for that because yep. we're pretty excited for retro fest Fun. yeah bud. see all the classic cars go check out the bands and go see see if they have any cool stuff there hopefully yeah. they'll have a like vendor at the park or whatever that'll have like band shirts well see and you can see if they have any if any booths have uh, CDs, like bands. CDs. If they have, yeah, even like CDs. That'd be cool. You never know. Maybe for you, they'll probably have like a booth where you can get like a pocket knife or whatever. Yeah. Or you can get like one of those uh, like skull rings or whatever again. Rings, yeah. Either if they have a retro fest, like you can also see if they have them at like rip fest or something like that. Yeah, because you know. yeah, they both have. Uh, yeah, because yeah, I know retro fest and rip fest both have like t-shirts, pocket knives, and other like bet like merch you can get. So, yeah. But I also cannot believe it's now two months until Rip Fest. Damn. Yeah, so about a few weeks until Retro Fest and then two months until Rip Fest. Very exciting. It's actually July 5th, Big Shiny Tunes is playing at Rip Fest at Tecumseh Park. Oh, really? Yep. Pretty Friday, good. July 5th, Big Shiny Tunes is going to be at Rip Fest. Oh, fine. You want to maybe go see Big Shiny Tunes at Rip Fest? Yeah. It's on Friday, July 5th, and it'll be at the stage, so yeah, we, you can, we can go there together if you want. Yeah, we can check it out and see how good they are. Yeah. yeah, I've seen them a few times, and they're pretty good, so I think you'll probably like them. Oh, yeah, probably. Yeah. Maybe when I do one of my Rift vlogs, I'll probably include it in the video, like film some clips of it. Like probably one or two songs or something like or that? Or a few songs, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And of course, I'll like take pictures of videos for my Instagram, but yeah. Okay, Fine. we can go see Big Shiny Tunes at Rip Fest, guys. So there you go. Hey, let's go. Go and see a concert at Rip Fest, the Big Shiny Tunes. Pretty cool. Because, yeah, um, if you guys remember, back uh, in 2022 when they did Crow Fest, we saw Grunge Cantina. And then, you know, last year when they did Retro Fest and Rip Fest together, we saw 89 Next. And then this year for Rip Fest, we're going to go see Big Shiny Tunes together. So, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. So yeah, at the park we've seen Grunge Cantina, 89X, uh, Moondog Collars, um, a few other bands, but yeah. yeah. But I think like the main concerts we've been to, like at the park, were the Moondog Collars, Grunge Cantina, 89X, and soon will be Big Shiny Tunes. And it's white riding street. <laughs> What that one? What, 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 which one? Did you thought that the guy thought you were like flashing him or something? Crush Cantina. Crush Cantina. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the the main concerts we've seen at the park so far were the Moon Dog Howlers, which at first we thought were Manic Drive, and turns out they were the Moon Dog Howlers. Yeah. And then we saw Grunge Cantina, Crow Fest. We saw 89X at Rims and Ribs, and now we're gonna go see Big Shiny Tunes at Rip Fest. That's gonna be sick. Maybe we'll go see a band at Retro Fest, but we'll see if a band we go see yeah. at Retro Fest. But for Rip Fest, we're for sure gonna go see Big Shiny Tunes because that's a pretty good band. And then this time, they definitely gonna Crow Fest, they're gonna actually put bands out. Yes, they do. Yeah, yes, they do. Hopefully. The last time they had to like cancel it or. Oh, they were able to? Yeah, or Animal or Animal too. Yeah. I think they were going to, but then it turns out they weren't actually able to. Like, it didn't really work out. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> now, for this year, 
they're doing Curl Fest in September instead of October. And uh, I kind of honestly feel like maybe this time they might actually be able to do bands at the park. Because now that you know Tecumseh Park is allowing festivals to be there again, they could do bands at Curl Fest this year. Yeah. And it will be warmer. And it will be warmer, actually, too. That's another thing. Since, you know, Curl Fest is going to be in September instead of October, it's going to be a little warmer. Like, still kind of like summer weather. Thank God. So, that's good. <laughs> so, that's why I'm kind of glad that, you know, so, you know, Curl Fest is going to be in September this year. So, that means in September, we're going to have Labor Day and then Curl Fest. Right. So, at least September will actually be a little, a little bit better this year. You know, more fun. Yeah, that's a good and then, you know, October, we're going to have our traditional Thanksgiving and Halloween, but still. <laughs> now we're on St. Clair Street. Yeah, now we're on St. Clair Street, guys. I like just walking around here. We just want to walk around here, just change it up a bit. But yeah, if you guys were noticing, there were a lot of cars around by. It was pretty busy. Oh, yeah. I was like, damn. Well, it's that rush hour time, I guess. That's good for people going home from work. But yeah, it's pretty cool how in 2022 we saw a Grunge Cantina at Crow Fest. Last year we saw 89, 89X at Rims of Ribs. And then this year we're going to go see Big Shiny Tunes at Rip Fest. Hey. Yeah, not too, okay. bad. Not too bad? Yeah. See like one cool band at festival for each year together. 2022 was Grunge Cantina. 89X was, was 2023. And then this year, 2024, will be Big Shiny Tunes. Pretty cool. Pretty good right there. Yep. But yeah, when we saw Grunge Cantina at Crow Fest, I think this was their first time playing in Chatham. I don't know where that was. <laughs> I think that... Bro, why is there so many people out? <laughs> like, damn. It's only like a Wednesday. It feels like a Friday, though. Yeah. Usually it's this weird on a Friday or whatever. This could be... Cheap and sweet. So like I was saying before, I was really interrupted by that car. Yeah. Um, I think when we saw Grunge Cantina at Crow Fest, it was their first time playing Chatham. And we were lucky enough to see that, so that's pretty cool. And, you know, they're going to be playing at the Aquinas Theater in Chatham in September, so that's going to be cool. We're hoping we can go see that. Um, and then, you know, when me and Dustin saw Aiden and Next at Rims of Ribs, that was our first time seeing them. Yeah. And uh, when me and Dustin go see Big Shiny Tunes at Rip Fest, it'll be Dustin's first time seeing them. Because yeah. I've already, already seen them already, but... I can see how they are. And... Yeah, you probably think they're pretty good. Oh, probably. Yeah. yeah. Alright guys, well we're going to continue walking, so I'll pause the video again, and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, we're back now, and as you can probably tell, we're at McDonald's now. And guess who's outside of McDonald's? Remus. Remus, my boy. Let's go say hi to him. So yeah, guys, we're now at McDonald's on St. Clair. But the reason why I want to pick up the camera for a little bit is because I want to say hi to Grimace. I want to see if he wants to be in the vlog. <laughs> Dude, that's sick. Let me take a picture of him. See, look, he's right over there. <laughs> Grimace, my boy. Yo, you want to say hi to the vlog? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Wait. Oh. Hello. Hi, Grimace. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Oh, wait, hang on. Well, there you go. There you go. Are you guys going to get a picture? Sure. You want me to take a picture of him? Yeah. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry if I had to cut the part of the vlog short. Um, when we went to go take a picture of Grimace, um, <laughs> the lady that was like taking our picture, um, she accidentally was still filming, so I had to cut that part out. But don't worry, guys, I got a picture. It's on my Instagram. So if you guys go to my Instagram, you guys will see the picture of me and Dustin took when we saw Grimace. Yeah. And now we're inside of McDonald's, and Dustin's still with me here. He's just right here. What's up? Yeah, and I actually sent Dustin the same picture. So Dustin also posted the picture of us with uh, Grimace. Yeah, like Grimace with my boy. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, again, if you guys were wondering what happened in the last clip, I had to cut that part out because, oh, well, I had to cut the part out with the lady was like checking our picture because yeah. she accidentally was like still filming. Yeah, I forgot to stop it. And yeah, you don't want that in the video. No, so you guys will probably hear her voice, but I just didn't want to like show her face on the video, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. 
I got a little bit of food while I was here. I got a chicken sandwich or a junior chicken with fries and a pop. Yeah, I got a large root beer here. Not bad. Yes, sir. Yeah, earlier there was actually a lot of people here. Oh, yeah. Oh, like, damn. A lot of people. It's not really that busy now. It's a little slowed down, but. Slowed down a little bit before. So, somewhat a little busy ish, but yeah, not bad. Nice. It's still, it's still pretty nice outside. It's still nice and sunny. If I could show you guys a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think these things open. Yeah. No, so. Yeah. While we were here, we were like looking at like really funny like Sancha filters and uh, I posted the picture of, you know, us with Grimace, like I said. Yeah. And actually, before we went here to McDonald's, you guys, we were like walking around like stores. All these different cars. Oh. Um, yeah, we walked around some stores. Like, we went to Bulk Barn. We went to um, uh, Food, Basics. Food Basics. We went to Dollar Tree for a little bit. We went inside the pet stores. Just look around. Yeah, see how it is. Yeah, and we decided to come here to McDonald's because, I don't know, we wanted to come here and just sit down for a bit. And then we realized there was Grimace here because today was McHappy Day. And <laughs> we got a picture of Grimace. That was pretty cool. I think I have a photo. Yeah, it does can show you on his phone. The picture they took. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, if you guys can see it. Oh. Make sure my brightness is a little brighter. That way. Yeah, see? This is our picture, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty cool. Sorry if it's a little blurry, but that's the photo we got. And apparently, it was actually somebody that we somewhat know. Yeah, so someone that we know was actually dressed up as Grimace, which I thought was really cool. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, we're not going to tell you guys who because, you know, privacy. Yeah. I mean, but it, it was someone I know that was dressed up as Grimace, and that's pretty cool. We didn't even know it was him at first. Yeah, I was like, and he came up here, like, that was me. Man. Like, that was, that was me and Grimace. We're like, oh. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah. So, yeah, guys, we're going to continue hanging out here for a little bit, but maybe we'll probably leave soon and walk around. Yeah, well, it is like 7 o'clock and that way or something like that. Yeah, it is like 7 o'clock, so we'll probably walk around for a little bit, but yeah. And when I'm walking, we'll continue the vlog, and maybe we'll. Oh yeah, we still have to get the thumbnail at some point. Yeah, maybe we, we uh, so we don't forget that way. We'll yeah. Both fine. Yeah. So I'm gonna pause the video again, guys. So I'll catch you guys when we're outside. Uh -huh. All right, guys. So me and Dustin are now at 7-Eleven. We just left McDonald's. You can probably tell it's still light outside, but I mean, the sun might start going down very soon. Yeah. Um, I might be going. I might be going to walk around soon. Um, then probably going back to my house. So yeah. There's actually like some classic cars driving by, driving around. Oh yeah, there was some classic car. Well, I didn't notice them, but we saw a few. Yeah. Um, yeah, it wasn't too bad. It's starting to get a little chillier now, a little cooler. Ooh, yeah. I think tonight's supposed to be like 10 degrees, like the lowest. Yeah, I think. Like, I think the lowest should be around 10. Yeah, and apparently tomorrow's supposed to be like 15, and then I think by this weekend it's supposed to warm back up. Thank God. Thank God, right? So at least tomorrow's gonna be a little cooler, but by Friday and probably Saturday and Sunday, it might warm up to like some weather back. Yeah, I was like, for a second, I was like, why is it getting colder? It should be getting warmer. <laughs> it's getting closer to the summer weather. Yeah, it's all summer. <laughs> but I mean, it is still spring, so I guess that makes sense. Um, luckily it's only for like a few days and then go back to normal. Luckily yeah, luckily then. it's only for a few days. You know, it's not too bad, I guess, but yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah, you can probably tell we're at, we're in front of 7-Eleven. It's yeah. <laughs> um, but I'm probably gonna be ending the vlog soon, you guys, because me and Dustin might split up in a little bit. Yes. Dustin's probably gonna go back to his house. I'm gonna yes. maybe start walking back to my house to grab my sweater and maybe we'll throw on some pants, but we'll see. And then maybe I might go back out later, but I mean that's probably not till later. Yeah. We'll see how it I mean I'll see how it is now and if I'm feel like I'm fine I can walk around for a bit and then go home. Or if I feel like I should I should probably go home, grab my sweater and then go back out maybe for a bit. Yeah, it depends on how much longer you're going to be out here, and then you think about, can I handle it for that many hours? Yeah, I get like, I'll probably be out for a little bit, and I'll see how it is for now, and if it's too cold, then I'll start heading home. But if I feel like I might be alright, then I'll just keep walking around, okay. and I'll go home. So, yeah. Did anybody remember when 7-Eleven used to have a gas station here? Yeah, you, literally, literally right here. It used to be this gas station. You guys remember that? If you guys live in Chatham? Yeah, if you guys remember 7-Eleven having a gas station, let us know in the comments down below, because we definitely remember. Oh, like, man. back in the 2000s, early 2010s, there used to be a gas station right here. I mean, even before that, too, really. Oh, yeah. Like, I do remember a gas station right here. 
And I remember we used to have another 7-Eleven in Chatham on uh, uh, Richmond, Street. Richmond and LaCroix. Yeah. Like and that one used to have a gas station too. Now it's what, like, was it Union Gas or something like that over there now or something like that? No, I think it's like a community health service or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you guys know where um, Tokyo Sushi is on Richmond Street? There used to be another 7-Eleven in Chatham, literally in that plaza. Yeah. And that one used to have a gas station too. It wasn't too bad. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Thank I, God we still have one in the chat on this one. I, I like, it's hard to remember that the, the other one. Yeah. Like the inside of it, I didn't, I, it's hard to remember. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, thank God we still have a 7 Eleven in chat on it's this one. Thank God we still have one. And they, they stopped doing this, but I still, I mean, they used to have like rows of like candy. You used to pick your own candy and put a little, little baggie. I think you like, you put like weigh it or something on the front. Counter. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't remember that. I remember the variety store on Harvey Street, I think, did something like that. Oh, yeah, I think it was this one and one Harvey. Harvey Variety Store. Yeah, I think so. Something like that. And you guys can probably tell, it's a little bit of the sunset right now. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Hope you guys are excited for the weekend, though. Okay. Yes, sir. Cool. Yeah, it's starting to get a little cool, but it's not too bad for right now. Um. So yeah guys, like I said, the next time I'm going to be doing a vlog will probably be on Friday, so stay tuned for Friday's vlog. And then the vlog after that will be on Sunday for Mother's Day. Um, so yeah. Are you, when are you doing a video next? Uh, this weekend. Alright, sounds good. So stay tuned for Dustin's upcoming video. He'll probably let you guys know on his Instagram. Um, sure. But I might get out of here now, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if it did, be sure to smash the button, subscribe to the bell on. Go subscribe to Dustin's channel. Go follow him on Instagram and his TikTok. And actually, I think Dustin recently posted a new video. Um, uh, recently. YouTube? Yeah. Yeah. About uh, Tim Horan's flatbread pizza. Yeah, if you guys want to check out Dustin's review on the flatbread pizza, I'll put his video link in the description down below. And be sure to follow me on Instagram and my TikTok too, you guys. And go check out my SoundCloud. Go check out my music Instagram as well as go subscribe to my Ralph my channel. And like I said, if you guys also want to check out... Um, Monday's vlog, as well as the first day of May and you know the last day of April when last time me and Dustin hung out. I'll put those links in the description down below. I hope you guys have a rest of your day. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye.